Do crows really recognize human faces? Hold grudges and gossip? And what's up with crow funerals? Depending on where you live, there's a good chance that you see a crow nearly every day. They are one of the most fascinating birds on the planet. Corvids are a bird family that includes ravens, crows and magpies, and are incredibly intelligent. Back in the day, people thought the size of a brain determines your smartness. But now, observing our bird friends such as crows, we can certainly say that this is not true. And it seems like every time we learn something new about them, it raises even more interesting questions. Studying bird brains isn't just showing us how smart birds can be, it is challenging old ideas of how smartness evolves in the first place. One of the ways that scientists have proven the smartness of crows is through experiments of observation of how they can make and use tools. Like this one where a thirsty crow drops stones in a pitcher to raise the water level so it is high enough to get a drink. So is a bird brain really an insult? Memory. John Marsluff, a wildlife biologist, has studied crows and ravens for more than 20 years. In order to test that crows can identify people by their faces, he did an experiment with rubber masks. He designated a caveman mask as dangerous and another mask as neutral. Researchers in the dangerous mask then trapped and banded seven crows. In the coming months, they did walk with masks, but now they did not bother crows. Did the crows remember? The crows had not forgotten. They scolded people in dangerous masks significantly more than they did before they were trapped. This continued in the following years also. How long crows can hold a grudge? Years. So be careful how you treat your bird friends, friend or foe. They will remember. Caching food. Using this incredible memory capabilities, they deliberately hide their food supply in the form of seeds and small prey in multiple sites across their territory. If one location is compromised, it gives them the possibility of more options, which shows their ability to remember and retrieve stored food over an extended period of time. Diet. Crows are omnivorous birds, meaning they eat a wide variety of foods, including insects, fruit and seeds, and carrion. Yes, they are scavengers and will feed on carrion, which includes the carcasses of dead animals. They play an important role in ecosystems by helping to clean up carrion and prevent the spread of disease. Crows are known to prey on small animals, including rodents like mice and voles, as well as small birds, eggs and nestlings. They are intelligent hunters and may use various strategies to catch their prey. In this case, the crow is using bread to catch a fish. Fascinating. family life. Crows are highly social birds that live in family groups. In addition to the mated pair, crow family groups often include offspring from previous years that help raise the current year's young. These older offsprings help with feeding, defending the nest, and teaching the young ones important life skills. Sometimes, Young crows leave and come back to work together like an extended family unit. So, they are mating for life. Yes and no. As far as mating goes, we refer to crows as being socially monogamous, but genetically promiscuous. This means mated pairs will typically stay together for life 
but they do engage in extra pair copulations, meaning that individuals may mate with birds outside of their primary pair bond. <laughs> Lifespan. There are about 35 species of birds with crow in their common name, and amongst these birds, life expectancies vary between just four to seven years and some 22 years or more in the wild. In captivity, the life expectancy of crows is considerably higher. The oldest crow in the world, called Tata, may have lived until 59 years of age. Their longevity is a testament to their adaptability and resilience. They hold funerals for their dead. Crows and many other corvids are frequently observed holding funerals for their dead. It is uncannily similar to the real thing, often involving synchronous movements between them that seem to stand in solemn remembrance of their fallen comrades. Some have even seen corvids bring offerings of petals and blades of grass, almost like laying flowers. They also make loud noises, almost like crying out in grief, a behavior that is fascinating and touching, offering glimpses into their beautiful relationships. Crows can talk. Crows communicate with each other using a variety of vocalizations, including calls, caws, clicks, and even mimicked sounds from their environment. They can convey a wide range of meanings and emotions. Crows use different calls to alert others of predators and coordinate group activities such as foraging. But some crow species, especially the New Caledonian crow, have remarkable vocal mimicry abilities that include the imitation of not only other birds' sounds, but also other sounds like human voice. They recognize themselves in the mirror. This cognitive ability of self-awareness has been identified in some crow species, often demonstrated through behaviors like mirror self-recognition. This shows a social awareness in crows, indicating an understanding of their place in social structures and relationships. These intelligent and playful birds sometimes can be misunderstood by us humans. If you want to learn more about nature, please make sure to subscribe. World Cut.